This is the third video in the series Bayes' Rule and Bayesian Updating by Chandra Sripada. In this video, I'll be applying Bayes' Rule to some concrete cases. The two examples I'll go through uh, rely on the, um, this picture. There are four types of radio stations. Um, they notice that it's A, B, C, D. There's adult contemporary, a boy band station, country station, and dance station. All the radio stations play 85% of their own genre, and they play 5% of the other three genres. Um, recall the previous example with uh, Dr. Evil. We had a likelihood table of symptoms you would see given that you have certain diseases. This table here is analogous to that likelihood table. In this case, it's the probability of certain kinds of songs being played given that you've got a certain type of station. Okay, so in example one, you are in Columbus, Ohio, um, where 40% of the people tune in to the adult contemporary station, station A, and 60% tune in to the boy band station, station B. Yes, I never miss an opportunity to uh, make fun of those good old Buckeyes and uh, <coughs> Their terrible taste in music. So Jojo, who is one of these Buckeyes, he's, uh, his radio is tuned into one of these two stations. The radio plays an adult contemporary song. What is your posterior probability distribution over, and now Latin H contains um, the two hypotheses that either Jojo is tuned, tuned into station A or tuned into station B. Here is the overall flow of what you do to go from your priors, combine information about likelihoods to get an unscaled posterior, and then normalize to get your properly scaled po posterior probability distribution. That's a lot going on here, but don't worry, the steps are actually very simple and very intuitive, so let's go through them. First, where did the priors come from? Well, they come straight from the base rates presented in the problem itself. Next, where do the likelihoods come from? Well, they come from the likelihood tables presented on slide 21. Remember, station A is adult com contemporary, so it's going to play 85% adult contemporary songs. Station B is the boy band station. It'll play only 5% adult contemporary songs. So those are your two likelihoods. Next, you do multiplication to get your unscaled posterior. You multiply the prior distribution in hypothesis 1 times the likelihood of seeing this data under hypothesis 1, and you get 0.34. You multiply the prior in hypothesis 2 times the likelihood of seeing that data under hypothesis 2. So you get 0.34 and 0.03. These are like probability, probability weightings, but they're not an actual probability distribution because they don't sum to 1. That's why you've got to normalize. Um, <clears throat> what normalizing does is it takes the proportions of these probability weightings and puffs them up so they fill out a proper probability distribution. How much do you puff them up? Well, the first step in doing that is you find the stretch factor, which is 1 over these two numbers. So 1 over 0.34 plus 0.3 is, gives you 2.7. You multiply 0.34 by 2.7 and you get 0.92. You multiply 0.03 times 2.7 and you get 0.08. These two numbers now do add up to 1, and that's the purpose of this normalizing step. So that's your posterior distribution, and you can say that Jojo, um, upon hearing this adult contemporary song on the radio, there's a 0.92 probability that he's listening to adult contemporary and a 0.08 probability that he's listening to the boy band station. Let's do another example now that's very similar. You are in Nashville where 70% of the people tune into the country station, station C, and 30% tune into the dance station, station D. Shania's radio is tuned into one of these two stations. The radio plays a dance song. What is your posterior probability distribution over Latin H contains the two hypotheses, Shania is tuned into station C versus she's tuned into station D. Here's the overall flow. Let's go through the steps. The prior distribution is, presented, is gotten just from the base rates presented in the problem. The likelihoods come from that table presented on slide 21. 
The unscaled top posteriors are obtained through multiplication. 0.7 times 0.05 is 0.035. 0 0.3 times 0.85 is 0.255. That's not yet a probability that, that's not yet a probability distribution, so you need to normalize. The stretch factor comes by putting these two numbers in the denominator. The stretch factor is now 3.45. What that's saying is that you've really only got about a third of a probability distribution here. You need to puff it up by a factor of 3.45. When you do that, you get that the posterior probability that she is listening to the country station is 0.92. The posterior probability that she's listening to the dance station is 0.88. Okay, that concludes video three, applying Bayes' rule to some cases, and that concludes the overall, uh, the overall series. I hope this was fun and educational, and thank you very much for listening.